everyone. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> today I Hold have. Hold on. Oh, you're not failing. You can say my name. I don't know say my want. name. I don't know. Say if you... my name. <laughs> I don't know if you want <laughs> your last kidding. name. I never say my. Hello, everyone. So today, for this new video, I decided to interview my friend Patricia Esther uh, and get her story. She's from California. And, but we met here in Oklahoma. Um, she's lived here for a long time and back and forth. She lived, went back to California, came Off back. Now she's going back again and I'll probably yeah. just go visit her out there. I don't think she'll be back, so. Hi. <laughs> so, um, I've been wanting to do interviews on here. <clears throat> I forgot to interview my friend from Costa Rica that was here. I should have done that. Ooh, you should have done that. You he missed was here that for one. a whole month and I didn't even. Hello. But we were traveling a lot, so. Um, You'll get him when we go out there next year. Oh, you want to? Oh, yeah, you're we're going? We're going. Yes. He's throwing me a birthday party because I'm going to be 50. Yay. So, that is exciting. So, yeah, I hope you do go. Oh, to be 50. Oh, God. <laughs> this is too, too crazy. Anyway, okay. So, I wanted to get your testimony. Like, how did you get saved? Mm. All the things that God has done in your life. What are your, you know, mile markers and... Okay. All of that. How old that? were you? How did this all come about? How old I am? Wow. No, how old were very, you? Very personal No, no, no. Here. How old were you when you got saved? Okay. That's what I Well, meant. you know what? I've always known, first of all, that there was a God. Like, I always known since I was little. Um, I've had a couple mm -hmm. encounters with him. Okay. And so, um, but, you know, growing up in a household where your dad's an atheist and your mother is really? a non-going uh, Catholic. Okay. <laughs> we didn't go to church. But okay. it's one, one thing that there were six of us in our house. So there was... Four kids? No. I, I say six uh, six children, oh, two adults. Six children. So there's okay. a total of eight. But yeah. Uh, so six kids to where... And I was, of course, the middle child. I was that one. I was that, you know the black sheep <laughs> I was the middle child but I never felt like a black sheep oh I totally did I knew I was I was like mm, what? too young to do this too old to do oh, that I never felt that okay oh totally uh, but my dad and my mom would want their Sunday mornings to themselves so they sent us to themselves yeah so they would send us to Sunday school Okay. So whatever church bus would come around, and there's something to be You're said about church buses. Wow. I was a Sunday school church bus child. Wow. Yes. Wow. And so if it was the uh, white church bus, uh, uh -huh. then it was, I think, the Pentecostal church that we would go to. And if it was red, it was the Baptist church that wow. week or whatever. So they would just call week. random churches? They would, well, they would just, the church buses, they don't do that anymore. They come around the, the, the neighborhood and they were like, oh, we're going to be here they would come this the Sunday if anyone wants to go to Sunday school. And wow. of course, we're like, yeah, we want to go. And we would ask you know, our that parents, was back when can you we just send your kids off? You can't really do that anymore. No, no, <laughs> a random bus, like, yeah. No. The bus pulls up, uh, no, you no, know, you <laughs> run away from it, you don't even go to. But, uh, yeah. back in the day, and I'm not going to tell you what day it is back then, so it, yeah, it was random, but it was, um, but it was either, you know, like I said, it could have been I, I went to an um, Assemblies God, I remember going to. A Baptist church, a wow. uh, Calvary Chapel. I mean, I remember going hmm. to different churches. It was just like s different seasons, but um, but that was a good thing. It was a good thing. You learned about God, and I did, and I and I fell in love with Him. But you know, as teenagers do, we stray away because we just didn't have a good foundation, and mm -hmm. it was by chance that we would go because it was yeah. up to the the uh, church bus to wow. come and get the kids. Go get some kids. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So go get some kids and hang in the church. Church did you get saved in or when? Um, so I got saved, real saved. I think my my first real encounter with with God and my my baptism mm. was at this Pentecostal church. It was called mm. New Life Christian Center. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yes, it was, and it was amazing. I think I was 13. Mm -hmm. I was 13, and I gave myself to the Lord. I gave my Aww. life to God, and I got baptized. And wow. I remember it that night, man. I was just like all floating. I was. I wish oh, I would have got baptized 
in the morning so I could have experienced it all day because I remember that night just huh. oh it was amazing and uh -huh. I, I remember I felt really clean and amazing and just mm. floating on air or on clouds whatever and so I gave my life to the Lord then and then of course I straight, I straight away yeah. yeah I got really bad <laughs> Uh oh, my, my, my parents hear about this. Well, or? I got, no. I mean, I wasn't a bad kid, but oh, I just right. decided to do whatever I wanted to, which yeah. is bad. You, you had know, a little bit of rebellion. I didn't, I didn't listen to my parents. They uh -oh. never were like, they never were like, they didn't have, you know, we didn't have like, you have to be home at a certain time. You have to, uh -huh. you know, bedtimes this time. We didn't have like order, but we, it was just like assumed. And so okay. you just, you know, you would come home. It wasn't like, you need, you need to be home by five o'clock or you need to be home it was just assumed and so i got used to doing whatever i wanted and then oh, wow. it got and then i started getting a little rebellious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so anyways ended up being sent to mexico to my grandma's house uh oh for, yeah <laughs> for six months i missed school for six months of my my sophomore year huh. yeah it was, yeah. And she was supposed to straighten you out? Or? Well, I think they just wanted to send me away. I don't know. Um, I was being a bad influence on my sisters, <laughs> my younger sisters. <laughs> oh, I was boy. like, you're, yeah, you gotta go. Uh, uh -oh. No, yes, they, they wanted to kind of calm me down. I don't know exactly yeah. what it was. They, My mom probably had had enough. And um, mm -hmm. so she probably thought it was best that if I would go to my grandma's, which I did. In Mexico, and that's a totally another story. Which mm. I had the best time because my mm. my aunt was um, she was like twenty one. I want to say twenty three, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, somewhere right there. I was mm -hmm. fifteen, and so she just took me everywhere with her. She Aww. yeah, she um, had a good job, and so she they would go. Her and her friends would go traveling. <laughs> so I just went along. Oh I was like, gosh. okay, I'm going. So I. I actually had like a vacay. There's just no rules. <laughs> <to do this. laughs> no. I was a good kid though. Uh, yeah, and she just took me everywhere. She got me a job at a wow. supermarket. Yeah, I didn't go to school. Of course, I, oh I didn't speak the language. So yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyway, so fast forward, came back, um, and then my mom and dad got a divorce, and this is right mm -hmm. after you know high school. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just kind of, that was it. I kind of went and did my own thing, started partying mm. a lot. I was a partier. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just one big party. And, huh. mm -hmm. I met my then boyfriend, um, soon was going to be my husband, but this is, this is a beautiful part about my whole, um, this is when I gave, came back to the Lord. And there's so much, so many testimonial mm. things that have happened in between. between in between, them. yeah, you can't, I can't like hit it all, but yeah. I will tell you this, that when my ex, well, he's, at that time was my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And we had gotten, we were living together and we got in a fight and we were big partiers and, mm. He said, I'm moving out. And I said, okay, get out. And he left. And I remember being at the house by myself. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, just like feeling like I had to show him that he was going to lose someone, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that, you know, it's his loss, uh, his yeah. loss, and you know, whatever. And <laughs> you know, you gotta think that you know, you gotta Sign prove on. something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to go? Oh well, I'm. I know. I'll show you who you lost. Oh god. So, anyways, uh, I remember going through. This is kind of funny. This is kind of embarrassing. But when I was what twenty three, mm -hmm. I want. I was twenty three when I gave to my yeah. So. I was in my closet and I pulled out like this mini skirt that I had and oh <laughs> no, I know it's silly. Oh, you were going to take photos? Oh or? no, I was going to show him. Like oh. I was going to go out and find myself a man. Like I, what? oh yeah. I oh, was like, I'm going to dress to the hilt. Okay. <laughs> silly. Okay. So I grabbed my mini skirt and I was like, mm, I still look oh, good. Oh. <laughs> uh, 23, I better look good. Yeah. That's when you look your best, I oh, think. 
<laughs> so anyways, um, and, and then I, so I was like, yeah, I still look good. And I'm taking it off and I'm, I'm in my closet, kind of looking at my clothes, kind of, and then all of a sudden I feel this just, mm, I, I want to, I don't know what word I want to use, but I feel like, like I'm, I'm just, I just became sad, you know, like, wait a minute, what is this? You know, mm -hmm. what, what am I feeling? Like, oh, I don't want to do this. And all of a sudden my mind went to the Lord and I just, I felt his spirit mm -hmm. is what I did. And I fell to my knees. Wow. Yep. I fell to my knees and I was like, <gasps> I was like, God, if you are real, because you know, when you stray away from God, you have all these voices talking to you and, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a voice. And then you just kind of listen to some voices, maybe giving you doubt mm -hmm. and unbelief. Well, yeah, and if your dad is an atheist, I mean, you don't really have, you don't have anyone telling you, you know, the it, way. It was just my go. experiences with God. And, I've ha yeah. and I had a couple experiences, and I'll have, I'll have to show those later at another time because I've had, I went to, I went to heaven and you never told me um, that. Yes. What? Yes, really okay. quick. And that's, that's another story. And that was when I was 11 years old, I want to say. No. And I almost drowned in the ocean. Okay. And I ended up in the hospital. But And I went to heaven. But that's, like I said, it's another See, story. See, I almost drowned a couple times, but I never... No, I went there. under. I was under for like 45 mm. minutes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But and you it, went to heaven? Okay, wait, yeah, tell so that we'll one have... real quick. <laughs> that one? The real yeah, you went to heaven. Yes, yeah, that was when I was when I was almost drowned. Did he send you back? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What did he it say? Like, it's not your time. No. So you want me to go into it right now? Well, Maybe we can do bit. another one. Okay. Another because well, it's time. it's such a it's such a great testimony okay. and it, it it really is. You have to know everything that went oh, okay. on. Okay. You can tell me like from the more. minute from the yeah the minute okay. it happened, um, going like being the middle child mm -hmm. not getting a boogie board that my brother my older oh, brother and sister no. got and then being um too old not getting a bike that my younger sisters got so yeah. i was that middle oh my gosh mm -hmm. i didn't get, i got a record i got a record I, I, mm. and i can't remember solid gold <laughs> <laughs> Solid gold hits. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. So I, I, you know, I felt like so betrayed by my family. Like I, so oh I, we gosh. went. They took them to the beach. It's yeah. Terrible. Oh, it was bad. So they took us to the beach wow. so that my older brother and sister can try out their new boogie boards. And, and it was and board. I did it, and I was gonna prove to them that I could do it. Oh, so no. yeah, so in the back in the day in Carlsbad, the Carlsbad beaches, you can like park um, on the cliff, and then you walk down into the beach. Oh, wow. So, anyways, it's January when the currents are high, and I won't go mm -hmm. into it, but the, it, it's a it's a beautiful story, and and wow. I almost drowned. I mean, I did drown. I think wow. I, I think, and. Gosh, it's such a bad, I don't want to get into it, but at the same time, it is a great story. And so we'll have to do that because I was, I was actually diagnosed as a mermaid. <laughs> it's, I know it's, it's, it's whatever you feel led to, to share. <laughs> hey, I'm not stopping. It's you. just such a great story, but I don't want to make this video too long, but we can, okay, we can we break can, it up. Okay. We can break it up. But so, so when um, you, okay. So you fell to your knees in your closet. I fell to my knees and I and was like, if you Lord. are, if I said, if no, I told the Lord, if you are real, mm -hmm. cause we got down to brass tacks. I was like, if mm -hmm. you are real, mm -hmm. then you're going to have to come get me. Cause I was, a, I, got, I was a party or a partier, oh. like party 24 seven. Wow. See, I never did the party thing. Oh. I missed out on I that. I did all deal. your partying. I guess so. You partied for me, huh? <laughs> I did. I mean, I partied a little bit, but I was never a party, partier type. I did all the party that, it, it, yeah, for everybody in my family, for, yeah. <laughs> we lived a big, it was one big party. And wow. I had, like, we weren't up, at, we weren't down and out. I, I tell myself, like, we weren't down and out partiers, you know, hitting the streets, you know, whatever, shooting stuff up. That's not right. what I'm talking about. Right. I'm talking about... 
like just fun i had friends that had money and whatever we wanted whenever we wanted oh my it was there all the time 24 hours a day i wow. could have i you know it got to a point where i was just like okay you know today um we're gonna go out tonight so i'm not going to i'm only going to you know do so too much so many drugs it sounds terrible to say it that way like i i, I did drugs oh wow okay. oh yeah it was it was like and you're at only give me one two lines of hope because Oh, that's all I can, you know, handle, and I just, oh, wow. I, I'm not gonna, so I don't want to. Oh yeah, I knew your yeah, ex yeah. drank, and he still kind of mm. does. But. Yeah, and I, I really don't know what he does, and yeah. I really don't care what he does. Right. But, but at that time, we partied together. It was like, you know, yeah. we, um, we would just have, wow. we would rent condos on the beach in Newport Beach and party all weekend. We would huh. go to Palm Springs for the weekend and party oh, all weekend. We would go. It was just a constant party. Like you couldn't get a break. Like even mm. during the week, you know, you're just like, can I sleep today? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Can I sleep today? And I would have to calculate like, okay, if I'm going to party like these three days, I, Monday, I'm going to sleep. Wow. So that I can recoup. And then so I can start up again, and just That's have a good crazy. time again, you know. So you told him. So I told the Lord, real, if you are out. real, you are going to have to come get me because my whole life was my friends, hmm. my job. We worked with another, the, the, one of our party friends and they would, you know, we would work a little bit. We'd shipped, um, we were, we would work on like, um, I don't know what they were like walkie talkie sort of deals that he shipped them all over the world. So, you know, we'd ship and then, okay, that's enough. Let's go, let's go out. <laughs> it was just a big party. And I had, I was done. I was like, okay, God, if you are real, you're going to have to come get me because I can't get myself out of this. And what happened? Uh, and so, so that was, gosh, that was a <laughs> sun, men, no, that was a Saturday night. Okay. And I had, I, I asked God, I was like, um, to come get me and then I called my sister so I have just so you know I have one brother and uh, four sisters and um, I thought you had three sisters well now I do one passed away oh that's right so but I, I had I had okay. four but um, at that time uh, two of my sisters were going to church and my brother now let me tell you about my brother my brother has been serving the Lord since he was 14, 13, 14. And so by this time, he's a year older than I was, or he is still. And, um, and he had, you know, we, he'd ask us to come to church, come to church. And we would just go like on Christmas or um, Easter and that's it. But he, you know, he kept praying for us, mm -hmm. um, all his sisters. So the, anyways, my other, one of my sisters, my sister Diane and her and my other sister Vicky, mm -hmm. they had kind of started going to church on Sundays. You know, they weren't really serving God, but they were like they were going to church. And so, and I knew that, and I had called them because I didn't have a car at that time. And I called them and I said, "Hey, if you're going to church, you know, I want to go with you guys. If you guys are going to church tomorrow." Well. I left it on their answer machine because this is back in uh -oh. the day when they didn't have right. any cell phones. Yeah. I know that there's people that can't fathom that. We can't imagine it now, but yeah, we had the, we had the long cords and you had to go around the wall to, you know, talk to somebody. So I left it on their answer machine and, you know, what they told me later was when they came home, they would, they were, Listen, they would listen to it and listen to it over and over like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that Patty <laughs> wants to go to church. I'm like, oh, thanks. But of course, I was the one that was like hardcore everything. So, yeah. uh, yes. So then um, she called me and they're like, yeah, we're going. Do you want to ride? And I said, yes. And I went. And I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything hmm. about the whole church. But I did go. And then I said, you know what? I think I'll, I'll go on Wednesday too, if that's okay with you. And... Hmm. They were like, yeah, you know, we're going to go Wednesday. And I think they were kind of excited that I was going to church. Um, and they hadn't really given their life to God, but they started going. And so then 
um, that was Sunday. Well, Wednesday came around, they called, are you gonna go to church? And I was like, mm. I was like, well, you know what? I am going, yes, I'll go to church. But I had like, like I think I was smoking some pot back then oh, and so okay. I was like really high and I still went to church oh gosh <laughs> like I shouldn't go right now yeah, I was just like well whatever I just gotten used to being high all the time so I was like sure you know <laughs> so then um, I I, mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was at I was at a point where like um excuse me my nose it just I was at a point where I was like if you know God doesn't know me well then you know, is there a God? I was really at that point, like, is there a God? And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I had I been hoodwinked when I was young. Like, <laughs> what, what the heck? Where did these buses take <laughs> Right. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I went to church, and I couldn't tell you again. And one, one, I, had, I, I could not tell you what was said or anything. Yeah. And, um, of course, I was high. But... <laughs> So that was Wednesday night, okay. Thursday, and I don't know, I'm getting somewhere. Thursday. <laughs> are we? I know, right? <laughs> These are real stories, guys, real, real life so, stories here. So Thursday comes around. This is where the good stuff comes in. So if you hung out this long, this is where the good stuff comes in. So Thursday night. Um, so this whole week, my ex, um, boyfriend well at that time my ex-boyfriend he had moved out we hadn't really talked mm -hmm. and uh we had known each other and lived together for two years prior mm -hmm. so he left for the week and so then he 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 finally calls me on thursday and he was like you know what he's like i i, I want to work things out with you and i want to um try our relationship again but this time I want to put God in it hmm. and I was like what wait what <laughs> you know because yeah. I was like wait a minute that like wait I, I thought the mini skirt was gonna lure him back <laughs> <laughs> so, <I'll cut> that. <laughs> I don't care I, I probably thought that no I, I know at that point I was like down with him yeah like I was God, done with him yeah. oh, I was okay. I was like mm. oh you didn't think you'd get back to that no I was like I'm mm. done like Say la vie. Like I wanted mm. something. To, I want. I was yearning for something different. Mm. So I was just. I had been done with him, and he calls me. I want to get back together, but you know, I haven't tried God in our our relationship. And I mm. said, okay. I said, and then I, I. I said, well, you know what? I owe it to him because I do love him. Mm. I owe it to him. If, if, if he really means it, then I owe it to him. Yeah. So I'm seeking God too. So this is not a coincidence. It's, it has yeah. to be something. So that was Thursday night. And so then, and I told him, yeah, I want to stop. I want to stop partying. Like, I don't know how, but I want to do it. Mm -hmm. So I need mean, to go to rehab. I didn't even think about doing that. I was just like, yeah, I felt like I, I felt like I had control of it. Mm. You know, I would only do so much. I never like passed yeah. out. I never got to a point where I was, you know, like uh, obscene out or out of control. Like, yeah, yeah, I was just like, yeah, oh, okay, I feel good. We're good. Let's, you know, let's <laughs> dance. You know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Anyways, so <laughs> Thursday he says that. Now he's like, let's get together Friday. Here comes Friday. So okay. it's that day. Here we get together, um, and it was in the in the evening, and so he comes over and he's like, "Okay, so he's like, um, the guy's his best friend, which mm -hmm. had like this condo on the high rise or whatever." He said, "Oh, he wants to go out tonight." And I just looked at him like, I thought we were going to like change. I thought mm -hmm. we were going to put God in the middle. And mm -hmm. I was just so frustrated and just so, mm, I was mad, I kind of, yeah. you know. And then I was mad at God because I was like, okay, God, you're not real then because there's uh -huh. nothing that's changed. There's uh -huh. nothing that's changed. Yeah. And so then I, I said, well, I said, sure, fine. Because if there's not a God, mm -hmm. He doesn't care about me 
and so there's not a God and he or and if there is he doesn't care about me because he didn't, he didn't come get me so I don't care and that night I told myself I don't even I'm not even going to stop or limit myself because I always was like oh no that's good mm -hmm. I'm good I'm good I you know yeah I'm that and don't no more no more whatever lines no more ecstasy like whatever I mm. did it mixed drugs I didn't it was just like I said I thought I had it in under control and I did it somewhat yeah so that night though I was like mm, if God doesn't love me or he's not real then have at it I don't care then why am I oh, caring about no. myself and oh, then here is this guy that he wants to put God in it but yet he wants to go party again so I was like forget it I'm done mm. like I don't care anymore don't care. I cared before. Now I don't care. I'm mm. like, line them up. That's dangerous. <laughs> which is, which is what it was. Um, yeah. Because we had done... <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> Someone at the door. Someone's ringing a bell. I know. We have Someone a... knocking at the door. <laughs> we we have have a... A... No, I never heard that. Do me a favor. Open the door and let them in. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Okay, that was a good song back in the day. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to my testimony. So I decided I was going to just do like, I'm going to situate myself a little bit. Um, oh. Just do whatever I wanted to that night. And mm -hmm. I think they had lines of um, crystal meth. Uh, what? I, uh, I didn't coke. know you did all this. Coke. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. This is back in the day. And, um, of course, they, you know, they had pot, weed. What do they call it nowadays? That's what they call Blunt, it. Whatever. Yeah. And so, I mean, we had it in abundance. It And ecstasy. They had ecstasy that day. Um, mm. Who knows what else? It was just, we went to our friend's house. And it was when they were partying. And so, I know I had done, like, a line of each thing. And I'd taken some ecstasy and I just didn't care. I didn't care if I overdosed. I didn't care if I, mm. I don't know. I was just like, I don't care anymore. God doesn't care about me. Mm. Say la vie. So we had done our, you know, little lines of Coke and stuff like that. And we, then I remember going to our friend's room. Well, one of the rooms upstairs, mm -hmm. cause there was a few rooms and one of them was like with couches they had couches so that mm. you could sit around and smoke pot and talk and whatever mm. and his roommate you know he, he was like a drug dealer so <clears throat> but he was there we were all there we were all gonna sit uh sit around and we were all gonna smoke a big fat joint and so i remember going up there i remember them sparking up the joint and it was going around you know and i was it was just hitting me i was getting um, a little bit, you know, feeling, feeling it all the, what I had just taken downstairs. Uh, but you know, I was, we were smoking and all of a sudden somebody asked or said something about the Bible. Uh oh. And yeah, that was random, but I think it was my, my, at the time boyfriend, um, he had said something mm. about the Bible and someone else said, um, uh, that's not in the Bible. And then, mm. and then, um, someone, uh, so my, <laughs> our friend went to his room. He's like, I'm going to go get the Bible. What? I know, In the right? middle of all this? In the middle of all this. I'm okay. like, I'm going to go get the Bible, whatever. Yeah. So then, so he goes and, he goes and grabs the Bible. He, he walks into the room and there was like me, my boyfriend and the gentleman with the Bible, <laughs> our friend. And his roommate, which was a druggie, and his friend. So as soon as he walked in with the Bible, the roommate left. They were like, he was like, oh, I'm out of here. He's like, I'm, I'm <laughs> tap out. I tap out. Him and his friend, they left. So it's just me, just the, the three of us. Okay. And uh, he opens up the Bible. And he starts flipping through the Bible, looking for whatever he was looking for. And all of a sudden, it was like, God walked into the room. Really? Oh, it was the so powerful that mm. you couldn't, like, couldn't almost breathe. Like, you, you can cut him with a knife. That's how, like, mm. he walked into the room. 
Nobody said anything, but we all knew what was going on. We were like, whoa. Like, I was oh, like, boy. Uh, like a kid in the, with his hand in the candy jar. Like yes. That. Well, then yeah. all of a sudden, um, we all looked at each other and it was like, I don't know who said it, but someone said, I think we need to pray. Hmm. And we all held hands hmm. and we all stood up. So now there's three of us. We're all standing up and we're praying, praying. And we, we start praying and all of a sudden we stop praying and we start talking to each other like, okay, what is going on? Like, do you guys feel this? Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel it. And then all of a sudden, I mean, I'm going into detail, but this is what happened. Yeah. Like all of a sudden we didn't know what we were talking about. Huh. All of us. There, we were looking at each other down, dumbfounded. Like, what were we just saying? Like, I don't remember anything. All of us. We we're like, oh my goodness, what is going uh -huh. on? It was like there was a struggle in the spirit. And, oh, wow. and I'm like, what is going on, Lord? So we, we were like, let's just pray. And so we started praying again. And then all of a sudden, I fall back on the couch. Hmm. And I just feel the Holy Spirit just going to rushing through my body oh, wow. from the top of my head all the way down to my toes like, oh. and I could and I can't move now I can't move like oh. I am paralyzed oh, I can't gosh. move I'm on the couch like this <laughs> paralyzed I can't move feeling the Lord Holy Spirit just rushing through my body hmm. and I close my eyes because I'm just like what is going on and I <laughs> I don't know how long I was like there Still can't move, still paralyzed. I open my eyes only to see my friend and my my boyfriend at the time praying. And my boyfriend's hands are up in the air. Oh, wow. And he is like shaking, shaking, oh shaking, shaking. And I'm just watching him because I can't move now still. And I'm just watching him going, whoa. And huh. nothing is said. Nothing is said. All of a sudden, he drops on his knees right here no my way. my friend drops on his knees on this side of me and my friend which he is cultured and he is yeah he would travel all around the world and he just had a lot of money had this jade ring from hong kong or wherever somewhere from the orient and he nothing is said he takes his ring off he hands it to my boyfriend at the time he said you're going to need this and I'm, and still nothing is said. Hmm. And so my boyfriend at the time grabs the ring and he says to me, the Lord just spoke to me. Oh, wow. And he said, you have no commitment in your life. You need to commit to me first and then commit to Patricia. Oh, wow. And he said, so I'm committing my life to the Lord. Oh. And I want you to this serve so him sweet. with me. Aww. Will you marry me? And I was like, no. Uh, yes. And all of a sudden, it was like this big weight would came off of me and I could move. Aww. And it was just uh, the most amazing thing. And so we're in there and all of a sudden, we're praying again. We just decided to pray. And God said, look around you. And so I'm looking around and I'm looking at this drug dealer's room, mm -hmm. paraphernalia everywhere. And he's like, you need to get out of here. So I'm like, okay. So we all move into the my friend's his bedroom. And we go in, we cultivate in there. And we're praying in there. Mm -hmm. And he calls his girlfriend. And he's like, oh my God, there's something really you know big that's happening. You need to come. So she comes and we all are in the room. And we're praying. And uh, we're praying into the night now. We're just mm -hmm. praying. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's such a big day. Like, this is a big, huge day. What day mm -hmm. is it? I want to remember it. Mm -hmm. and, my, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. It's Good Friday. It's, it was Good Friday. I love that. Because we, we, were, oh, we were like, well, if we're going to commit our lives to the Lord, what yeah. church are we going to go to? And we thought, well, my brother has invited us to church. And it was Easter Sunday, that Sunday. Oh. It, w it couldn't happen any Easter's better. Easter's like, my favorite. So, so we favorite. knew we were going to that church. So we knew that's the church that God wanted us to be at, oh. at that time. And so Easter Sunday or was the day that we went to church and like 
committed our lives to the Lord, although it was Good mm. Friday that he saved us. Mm. He came and got me. He did come, came and, you know, he did come. He did come. You, if you ask God to do those things in your life, he will. I know. He will. I know. One way or and another. And I thought he didn't. And he had it planned yeah. that we both were gonna, right. going you to. Have to uh, you have to want him to. Because so, a lot of people yes. are like, well, God's never done anything. You, know, you well, have to really want it. You have to want it. <laughs> you know, how bad, you know, do you really want that? God, yeah. God knows. He knows your heart. Well, let me tell you, I had to get rid of, like, we, we walked away from all our friends. Hmm. We had to. We had to. We had to. Okay. And... We got engaged and we got married and there's so many other things that big things that God did for us. Mm -hmm. But that night where I thought, you know, God doesn't love me. He's not real. Mm -hmm. He's never going to come get me. I was devastated. You never thought that again, though. Oh, no. Yeah. He came and got me. Yeah. You know, he delivered me. You got to give him time, too. Yeah. It's all, with God, it's all about timing. Yeah. And it's never what you think. Right. <laughs> and it's got to be. I've learned that. It's yeah. never what well, you think. It's like, oh, no, his ways are higher than yeah. our ways, you know. And he's got to have things a certain yeah. way and do it when you're ready, the moment you're really the, ready. Yeah. Because there's other people involved. Exactly. It's, and he wanted to scoop both of us up together so that Aww. we can, you know, be married. I know. And, it's, I, and I know yeah. he used to tell me that, you know, you guys would wanted to do ministry. You had all these plans mm -hmm. to do things and together. And we did. We did a lot of things together. We did. Yeah. We, we did some mission work. We would we smuggled Bibles into China. And we and that's another I didn't know story. That story. <laughs> wow, we're gonna have a lot of videos to do. I'm gonna have to fly you don't to know me very well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have to fly to California <laughs> here soon. A lot of people don't know that about me because it was such a transformation, and it was so long ago. It was like I was 23. Yeah, yeah. So it was so long ago, and I just know that. He, I mean, I never went back to snorting anything up my nose. You know, I just, I, I didn't go back to it hmm. because. And what church was it that you went that Sunday? Do you remember? Um, it was the, it was the Pentecostal Church, okay. New Life Christian Center. And it's not that any longer. I don't, it, yeah. I think it's Compass now, but um, yeah. yeah. And some of my sisters still go there. Really? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But um but that's my testimony of how God saved me out Aww. of, you know, like my drug life, party life. That's so awesome. And I never had to step foot in a, um, a like a, huh? well, no, a, a rehab or anything. Oh, he just right. wow. cleansed me. That was the Holy Spirit cleansing me. Wow. And yeah. Yeah. And you've been like sold out ever since. Well, yeah. I have, I, I I've failed God miserably. I mean, it's been what, 30 well, we years. All have I'm failed. sure I, I mean, have failed God. I, mean, I have failed, you know, but I never questioned, I never doubted that there was right, God. Like right. I might've gotten mad at him and yeah. you know, yeah. but there's, there's, I will, you know, there's no way I'll ever question or doubt that there is a God. Like I have too many things. And there's so many people. So yeah. There's so many people where I hear, I hear these testimonies where it starts out like yours. God, if you're real. Yeah. And we want to know, like, are you real? Yeah, and then okay. follow it up with some amazing thing that he does. Yeah. I mean, he is Because real. if you really want to know, if you really mm -hmm. want to know, like there's, right. I mean, you can say, oh, I, I, is there a God? Da, da, da. No. When it comes to Lord, I need to know. I need to know. Right. I'm at the point. I'm, I'm at, at the, the point. That my I, heart is ready to yeah. receive something. Right. It's desperate. I'm desperate. Desperately crying out. This is a make it or break it. Yeah. Time. Like in the Psalms when David was like, I cried out to the Lord and he heard me. Yes. You have to cry out to God. You have to yes. get to that point. Not like this. Well, but you know, maybe there's a God. Hear. No, you, you need, you need to want to know. Right. You know, do you want to right. know? Right. Do you really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> Because it'll change your life. <laughs> yeah, such it'll a great testimony. Life. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah.
that was it. That's oh, that's, that's how cool. I came to the Lord. That's cool. And he's done a lot of different things for me. Yeah. But that's awesome. Oh, I haven't yeah. told my testimony and oh, I can, it's been time. years. I need to I need to do a full on testimony. Yeah, and I've only gotten bits and pieces of it mm -hmm. until now. Like I, I never got I knew the whole whole story. Yeah. So mm -hmm. <laughs> So well I guess yeah. that's it for now. Um and we will We'll have to do we'll my do another one. my experience. Yes, for sure. All right, talk to you later. We'll see you in the next video.